It is the end of another month here in the 6th away. Can you believe it? It is the 31st today and along with the end of the month, Madison Restaurant Week is coming to a close. Photojournalist Mark Schilling brings us a little Restaurant Week mashup. This is my first time in Bandit Tacos. We're getting our first look inside Amara. I'm crashing the party this time. You excited? Time. Yeah, oh, look at this. Yeah, I cannot wait. And uh, sorry, Leah. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> This one's our, our signature bandito. It's pork shoulder rubbed with coffee, pasilla chilies, cocoa nibs, and brown sugar, topped with some pickled melon, onion, and cilantro. We have our 100-layer uh, lasagna. It's uh, layers of uh, Italian sausage, smoked chili and tomato sauce, uh, layered in with noodles, uh, basil bechamel, and um, some Wisconsin Parmesan. And then this one's a really fun one too. This is our Vitruvian Farms oyster mushroom taco. So it starts with some chimichurri, some pea shoots also grown, grown by Vitruvian Farms, uh, the roasted oyster mushrooms, a salsa matcha, and some queso fresco, like a lot going on. And obviously right on top of our uh, fresh tortillas that you just saw us knocking out. And then finally the asabuco, uh, which has become a pretty popular one here since we put it on in the winter. 19 ounce uh, braised uh, beef shank. You have that marrow bone still in there, so you can really dip some, you know, a side of sourdough into that. Uh, it's on a root vegetable mash, a little fresh salad on the side, and then comes with uh, some glazed carrots, a nice, like, sweet and sour carrot reduction, and uh, some potato roasties. All right, Gil, so it always comes down to this for me. I love some good food. So which one am I biting into again? That's our Vitruvian Farms oyster mushroom taco. All right, here we go. Mmm. Very good. Yeah, it's a lot of different things going on, right? For sure. My mouth is watering. I know. I was going to say, <laughs> what are you going to dig into? I mean, the lasagna looks incredible. We were watching them make it in the back, just finishing it off, and I was like, that's you number one. the fork is already in yeah. my hand. John, if you can hand me that pocket right there, that's what I'm going to be digging into. And Shane, and what are you going I'm after? I'm taking that lasagna. I've been eyeing it since we got here. Oh, my gosh. This looks Thank fantastic. Thank you so much. Happy eating. That nice it's slow money shot zoom there. Right there. Look at that. Yep. You like watching yourself eat? <laughs> <laughs> Not particularly. <laughs> you know, it's funny Nobody how does, right? your career and your mindset kind of changes over time. Like, five years ago, I'd be like, you're never going to watch me eat on TV. Dead, right? And now yeah. you guys see that, like, every other day here on News 3. So, But it shows the real you. I mean, that's one thing about your segments. It's always authentic. It's always real. We get the real Josh Spryder in those moments. Even when there's sauce just <laughs> dripping down my chin. Hey, it happens to everyone. <laughs> it really does. Even you Josh. can't be perfect all the time, right? No. <laughs> Uh, good stuff. Hey, uh, Josh is always looking for inspirational stories. You got a tip for him? Find him on social media or email him for a chance to be featured.